All right, what's going on, guys? So today, it's nothing about cars. It's all about the products behind making the car videos. There we go. That's a good way to say it. I've had a few people mention to show what I record with and everything, so decided to make it. It's a pretty straightforward video, so I was like, why not? I could just do it in my room, and so let's get to it. I'm going to put you guys on a tripod right now and go over my desk, kind of, to show everything that I have. I think this is everything I have. All right, so what should I start off with first? Um, I don't have a lot of stuff. I have four lenses in total. I really don't have much. Like you don't need much to do these type of things. I'm missing one thing and it's in my car. I'm going to go get it actually. All right, so I found two things, this and that. Okay, so I'm going to move from the right side, down. Let's reorganize this a little. Okay, starting from this side right here. I have a MacBook Air. It's specced out to my liking, so I have it, I think, fully like custom built. I ordered it online. I think I have it fully built. Like everything, like uh, hardware-wise, except the SSD drive. I have the smaller one, though. I think it's like 125 or 112. I'm not sure, but I have, uh, I think, eight gigabytes of RAM, maybe more. I don't remember. I think eight. I, yeah, I believe eight. Uh, then I have the. I'm not gonna get it. It does edit videos, but I wish I got the MacBook Pro but this works just fine for the time being. I put everything on external hard drives, which I'll get into later. So it works fine for editing videos. It can get slow uh, rendering them sometimes, but it's no big deal. Next, I have uh, cable wires right here. I have, uh, for the GoPro, I already lost it, the, um, the micro USB, I think that's what it's called, USB, I think it's micro USB, but I might be wrong. Uh, I have the mic attachment to that so I can run an external mic microphone to like the exhaust videos, to uh, like attach it to my neck and all that jazz. So next I have, let's toss the side, let's do it right here, this one right here. So right here is a, like a tripod that's flexible, I forgot what these are called, like uh, bendy tripods or something like that. It's a Joby tripod. I got it for like 20 bucks off Amazon. It works fine. It's good for like when you're like walking around, you can hold it by this. Like if you, you want to record yourself, you just hold it out. You can bend it. Then you can like attach it to something if you want it to like hold on to like, I don't know, a post or a fence. Doesn't matter. Uh, then I have like a goodie bag of, uh, of like most of my SD cards so I don't lose them you know just to be uh, safe uh, next is some uh, filters these filters are for uh, for my 50 millimeter lens which I'll get into right now let's start with this one this is the stock one that came with my Canon 70D uh, 18 to 55 uh, I never use it anymore since I'm never, I don't know, I don't like it. It's just not that good quality. It's good for a beginner, but for me, I have a uh, wide angle lens that's on the camera right now, which I'll talk about the camera in just a bit. And this one is just for photography. It's a Canon 50. It's a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8, I believe. Yeah, 1.8. Uh, then I have a digital UV filter on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's right there. I usually just use these for pictures. I never use this for recording. This is like the best lens I have ever purchased. This lens is the best all around lens you can pr probably buy. Maybe the 24 to 70 millimeter is a little better, but for the price of this, it's way cheaper than the 24 to 70 millimeter. So I got this one used and it was, I think like 600 bucks. They go for like 1400, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, so I got it from like a local guy right here in Illinois. Uh, this I use for like 
when I want to do like a like a back shot like where I'm standing I put this on my 70D and then I can stand further back with this and I can capture more behind me than I could with the the wide angle lens that is on there because that is a 10 to 18 which is only for like up close stuff and s like vlogging type of stuff then I have like these hood lenses that go on here all right, let's go here. Uh, this is just a GoPro Hero 3. I believe this is the black edition. I've had it for like s s five or six years. Um, you know, it used to have some hardware problems turning on and then when you press record, it had like issues where it just stopped recording randomly. But I updated it and it works fine now, so I like it. Next right here, I have a, I think this is a one, two, three, uh, 36 LED like lamp. So yeah, I use this mainly for like when I'm filming at night, just so uh, you guys can see what I'm recording. Look how bright that is. This like, if you look at this, it blinds your eyes. That's how strong it is. And it's only like seven bucks on Amazon. I'll try and find everything I have here on Amazon for you guys to like either buy or just check out on everything. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, next is a GoPro suction mount. Uh, I have a DSLR suction mount as well, but I just wanted to show you guys this. It's the same thing, it's just a different head right here that uh, you can bolt onto the bottom of your DSLR. Uh, it works fine, I've had it fall off a few times, it's getting old, so I usually never use it unless I'm in the car. Unless I'm using it in the car, I never use it on the outside because I'm a little scared of it falling off. So that's that. Alright, so where I store almost every single video that's like recent is this Western Digital 1 terabyte uh, external hard drive. Uh, I carry around almost everywhere I do videos with this. I also have a 5 terabyte, I don't know if you guys can see it's plugged into the back so I don't want to pull it out. It's a uh, MyBook Western Digital. It's a 5 terabyte, uh, 5 terabyte, like a stay home external hard drive so it, it's it stores everything from pictures to documents to everything on there, which is awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the camera. I'm gonna start recording on my phone for that. So I'll put this down here and I'll record with my phone that. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you where I keep all this stuff. I can fit everything on this desk in one thing. So this is my like camera bag, to, so to say. It's a Case Logic. I got it for Christmas from my aunt. Uh, I love it. It stores everything. It has a little pouch for it right here. So if it starts raining, I can cover it and nothing will get wet on the inside. Uh, it has this like organizer in here and then a, like, a pouch right here. I usually put the external hard drive in here and then a laptop case in the back right here. Alright, so let's look at the camera now. Alright, so this is basically my camera right here it is a Canon 70D I got it off their website when they were having a sale uh, for a steal of a price I think I paid like $700 for just the body and that and a charger and that's all that came I think that's all that comes with it even when you buy it at the store but I don't know uh, I got it for super super cheap almost fell uh, yeah, I, I love this camera. Like, I really can't have anything to complain about. I had a T3i, and this is just so much better. It has autofocus. It has autofocus. It's it's just like a really good camera for like everything. Camera or pictures, video, everything. Uh, I on top I have a Rode shotgun mic. Yeah, but this is the 10 to 18 uh, millimeter. Uh, I love this. This little lens is pretty good. I mean, no complaints about it. It has uh, image stabilization. Uh, the focus is really quiet on it. The the uh, 24 to 105 is kind of loud, but because like, I, I have this shotgun mic, the Rode, uh, it, you can't hear it at all. Uh, I have a, like a UV filter on this as well. And basically that's all for my camera setup I'm gonna I'm gonna switch you guys over back to this camera and I'm gonna finish up the video finishing the video off uh, 
basically that's my setup it's nothing too fancy it's nothing crazy expensive i mean it's not on the cheaper side but i mean if you really want to you can i've done a whole video with my phone and it came out perfect like it's not that big of a difference it's just getting a wide angle from the 10 to 18 really that's the only difference i could really tell and a little bit of quality and everything but nothing you can't do without the phone uh, basically that's it for the video. I know it was a little short. Hopefully, I don't know, once I start editing it's gonna add up, add up, and it's gonna, it's gonna be like 8 minutes long or something. Which, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys like my channel, like, like the video, and subscribe. Basically, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.